Yeah, so the Batterson Park can Conservancy, there we go, volunteers I spoke with say it's been a mix of hurt and confusion since receiving the partnership termina termination letter and seeing four years of work come to an end. We're uh, surprised, uh, disappointed, and uh, a little confused. Um, and saddened. It's a wave of emotions for Batterson Park Conservancy, made up of neighbors and volunteers whose sole mission is to restore and preserve Batterson Park and the surrounding lands through park cleanups. Pick up trash, cut brush, remove poison ivy, the, the coaches would do that and um, you know, just try and make it a more hospitable place. And nonprofit fundraising. It was always supposed to be more of a partnership um, between you know the cities to restore the park with a nonprofit element to help steward it into the future. But after receiving this letter from the city of Hartford, that's all coming to an end. While the park sits in New Britain and Farmington, it's owned by Hartford, and the letter says all volunteer operations, organizing meetings, and fundraising is now suspended. They shut the nonprofit conservancy operation completely down, um, and you know told us, in fact, to cease, cease operation. Now, despite this abrupt partnership ending, the organization wants to clear up any and all confusion. The $10 million restoration of the park will still be proceeding. However, the, the partnership that we had planned with Batterson Park Conservancy to fundraise and provide programming for the park into the future has been terminated. He says at this time, the city of Hartford hasn't provided an alternative structure to replace what Batterson Park Conservancy was going to provide for the park. A statement from the city reads in part, this particular organization, while it includes some very passionate people, just turned out not to be the right one to support the work and ultimately ensure the sustainability of the park for many years to come. The termination is effective starting September 12, 2022. Live in studio this evening, Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.